Good morning, North Montgomery High School. I'm Jacob. And I'm Cole. We've got a lot of info you today, for you today, so let's get started. Let's begin with some local news with Landon. In local news, since spring is now hitting Indiana, it can only mean one thing, mushrooms. Now more than ever, mushrooms are showing up, and now it's the perfect time to go outside and find them. Back to you guys in the studios. Thanks, Landon. Isn't he such a fun guy? Agreed. Student council and class officer applications for next year are now available. Applications can be picked up from Miss Allen's room or Mrs. Punky's room. Applications are to be returned to Miss Allen or Miss Punky by Friday, April 26th. In FFA news, livestock, pra livestock practice today from 4.15 to 6 p.m. in the Ag Room, and the FFA Chapter Awards Banquet will be April 24th, 2024, for both middle school and high school members. Now let's go to Kayla with some national news. A semi-automatic firearm ban passes Colorado's House and is headed to the Senate. On April 14th, Colorado's House passed a bill that would ban the sale of transfer of semi-automatic firearms. The bill passes a 35 to 27 vote. If it passes in the Senate, Colorado would be in line with 10 other states, including New York, California, and Illinois, that have bans on the semi-automatic guns. There is a low chance the bill passes in the Senate because it is Republican red. Now with Owen to sports. Uh, this Tuesday, Piper Ramey had two hits and two RBIs last night. Highlights from track and field meet on Harrison. Congrats to Haley Coons for setting a new school record in the full vault. Sarah Hopper plays second in the 800. Caitlin Woolwine plays second in the 1600. I plays second in the 200 and first in long jump. Kelby Harwood plays second in high jump. Jacob Price plays second in shot put. Athletic events for tonight. 5 p.m. girls tennis versus Lebanon at home. 5 p.m. track and field versus Lebanon and Danville away at Danville. 5 p.m. girls tennis versus Lebanon at home and this weekend for varsity sports. Varsity baseball on Friday at Harrison, 6 p.m. away. On Saturday at Southmont away. Varsity softball on Friday, Faith against Faith away. On Saturday, Southmont, 10, 10 a.m. away. And boys golf Saturday at the Southmont Invite at the Country Club at 8 a.m. Coming up, we have a new segment with Jacob sharing tips and exercises in healthy, in healthy living. Hey guys, I'm Jacob, and I'm here to kind of explain to you guys if how to work out and keep your body on a healthy regimen. So to start off, you want to make sure you're having a relatively healthy diet. Um, and to optimize to build muscle, you're going to want to consume about 0.5 to 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So if someone is, I don't know, 200 pounds, they would want to consume anywhere from 100 grams of protein to 160 grams of protein per day. Um, that's optimized to build muscle mass. If you're looking to lose fat, then there's not a better diet than a simple calorie deficit diet. You can eat whatever you want, but if you just want to lose fat, then a calorie deficit diet. So you can go online, there's calculators for that. Um, so to start off, we're just going to kind of go over what you kind of want to start out doing. Because if you're just now in the beginner stages, then we're going to kind of progress our way into it. Um, if you're more advanced, we'll get into the more advanced in the weight room and other exercises. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to do a proper form for a regular push-up, a sit-up, and an air squat. All right? So for the push-up, you want to get your hands shoulder width apart so see that and you go down then you go down to 90 degrees you don't go all the way down to flat you stay at 90 degrees and then you just go up okay so 90 degrees up now we're going to do the air squat all right so we want to get our feet shoulder width apart and then we want to go down to about 90 degrees then we just go back up all right down 90 degrees up. you can have your hands wherever you want I prefer to have them here or here you can have them here if you want it doesn't really matter as long as you're staying balanced 
All right, now we're going to do the sit-up. So usually when doing the sit-up, you have your feet at kind of at an angle like this. You're just sitting down like normal, right? Then you can have your hands. If you want to make it really hard, you put it behind your head. Most people put them across their chest, cross hard like this. So you go down, pretty much just lay on the ground, and then you just sit up. You want to make sure your feet stay on the ground. If your feet come up off the ground, you're disengaging part of your core. You're not getting the full workout. So you want to make sure your feet are on the ground. A tip that I usually do is I cross my feet, keep them from coming up. So down, up. It's as simple as that. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. But tune in for our next episode next week, and we'll get into some more advanced home workout workouts that you can do. So stay tuned, try it out, see how it is. If you need any help, let me know. Thanks, guys. The Creative Writing Club will have a meeting today, Thursday, April 18th, during bonus in Mrs. Norman's room. The 2022-2023 yearbooks are still available for $60. $60. Hurry, supplies are limited. Did you know you can donate your undamaged uh, Eclipse glasses now that the eclipse is over? These glasses will be sent to children in other parts of the world who wouldn't otherwise be able to safely view eclipses in their areas. Drop off, drop off your eclipse glasses in the library by April 26th. Ms. Thompson will send them on. The 2024 Montgomery County 4-H Queen Contest Callout Meeting is Saturday, May 19th at 6 p.m. in the Exhibit Hall. The Queen Contest is July 6th, 2024 at 8 p.m. Entry forms will be mailed out by the end of April. The deadline to enter is Friday, May 17th. And now to Piper with this, link's, with this week's lunch menu. Hi, I'm Piper with your Charger TV lunch. Today we have hot dog on a bun with coney sauce, potato wedges, baked beans, and chilled pears. Tuesday we have turkey and noodles with a roll and whipped potatoes and gravy with seasoned green beans and applesauce. Wednesday we have cheese breadsticks with marinara sauce, romaine salad, steamed carrots, fresh apple wedges, and a chocolate chip cookie. Thursday we have a hamburger with sliced cheese, tomato, onion, and lettuce, oven baked fries, steamed broccoli, and chilled mixed fruit. And Friday we have a beef and cheese burrito, seasoned corn, chips and salsa, chilled peaches, and goldfish. Thanks, Chargers. What are you doing? Today we'll be asking whether the internet's good or bad. It's been a question since the beginning. Um, teachers will argue that it can be used for information, while Facebook moms will be like, it's rotting children's brains, which might be partially true, but I think I'm mostly intact. And we'll also, we also have to view how people have grown up with it. So whether you are on Chrome, Opera, Ancient Internet Explorer, or Firefox, we'll see how other people think the internet affects the human mind by doing a few interviews. Is the internet good or bad? I'm gonna say good and bad because there's a lot of good things on it when it comes to information, but like there's also a lot of bad crap on there and it's hard to avoid the bad crap when you're looking for good crap. Well, there are some positives and negatives. Uh, you know, as from a parent's perspective, uh, the internet can be quite scary, especially to those with little children. Uh, but from an education perspective, the internet provides a wealth of knowledge right at your fingertips. So I think you can say that there are pros and cons either way. Um, I believe the internet can be good in some ways in uh, finding important information. But yeah, there are some stuff that is bad on the internet for you. and. Uh, it's not best to have technology in your eyes all day. I think it can be both depending on how you use it, but overall it's helped us progress our society a lot. Sigma, Sigma, Sigma. Oh, hi. We have concluded from the interviews that we've done that most people can agree that it's both a mixture of good and bad. 
There's a lot of great information on the internet for both, you know, research and personal use. You can also build communities and such. But there's another thing called the bad side of the internet, where there is awful people to put lightly. And I think kids and parents can both realize that when they come to age. So now we ask you, the viewer, do you think the internet's good or bad? Cut the camera. <laughs> Thanks, Piper and Nick. That's all for today, Chargers. Get involved and make the most of all these fantastic opportunities. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have an amazing day. Stay tuned for the Wanders in the Hall. Don't we're ask, ask, what's your guilty Swan pleasure? And answer these questions Liana. in the comments below. And we're going to ask, All right, thank you. What we're question ask, do you want to ask? What's your guilty pleasure? What's your favorite color? Food. Well, mine's purple. Nice. What question thank would you, you ask? We're gonna ask what your what's your guilty pleasure? pleasure? My guilty pleasure Our would have to be eating. What question would you ask? How old are you ask? Thank you. I am 18. Turn what's your guilty pleasure? All right, thank you. And we're going to ask, what question would you ask? What do to a lot of Justin Bieber. Uh, I want to go conservation officer Thanks. or possibly a job doing. We're gonna ask, this. what's your guilty pleasure? Thank you. We're gonna ask, what um, question would you I ask? Actually, I like to what? listen to John Denver. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm Thank a you. Swimmer. And we're gonna ask, what's your guilty Thank pleasure? You. We're gonna ask, I uh, eat whipped cream got? all the time out of the bottle. Thank you. Uh, attend Ivy Tech. Let's get theirs. Uh, sir, what's your guilty pleasure? Your and our law enforcement or I'm friends with you. Like you. Thank you. <laughs> <We're gonna> ask, <laughs> he was recording. Why? If you were a